this is a central utility plant. This is the heating and cooling for the buildings on campus. That it's the largest um, sewer heat recovery system in North America. Um, it also is on a campus with multiple other buildings that were under construction at the same time, so logistically coordinating that as well. It also has large pipe diameters, large equipment, up to 30 inch carbon steel piping, 100 horsepower pumps that weigh 4,800 pounds a piece, essentially coordinating those and also utilizing. The Shark is a specialized piece of equipment that exchanges energy off of the sewer, so it does all the heat and cooling for the campus but it's a break between the dirty side and the clean side. It has a wide gap heat exchanger, some mass reader pumps, and then keeps the clean water on the campus side. So what's unique about this job is that 85 or 90 percent of all the conduit installation wiring is actually in this lab. But this particular project, in order to uh, streamline it with respect to the schedule, because we needed to, we needed to have the infrastructure implemented and installed early in order to meet the construction schedule metal works manufacturing um, also to help mitigate those issues. We believe that you start up and commission the day you get the job and you do that through submittal review, specification review to make sure that we order and we purchase the right equipment the first time. You know a lot of these pipes were you know 15 20 feet in the air right how do we get that information to the operator so he can look at it so we the placement of the sensors to make sure you can see them from the ground so just taking into consideration all of those aspects, not just the building of it, but the operation and maintenance of it in the future. As the, the builder and you know, the, the construction team, we had to make sure that the owner felt confident that we have the capacity today to serve the load three, four years down the road. So, and I think that we've proven that just by based on the performance. I think that opens the door for us on a lot of more projects and a lot more, I think a lot more systems and designs are going towards using renewable energy or, you know, energy that wouldn't be used in the first place. So like computer room, um, air conditioning units, crack units, they reject heat. That's energy that we can use. And again, with like the sewer, that's energy that we can use and actually use it to heat or cool a campus. And I think that is opening a lot of doors for the construction industry right now. I think that there's a lot of designs that are going towards using rejected heat from some sort of system and using that for good instead of just rejecting it.